Some call it conservation drainage. It's a practice designed to help farmers increase yields, conserve water, and reduce nutrient loss while they cut the amount of nitrates leaving crop fields through underground drainage tile. Farmers install water level control structures and tile lines to turn the drainage system on and off at different times of the year. Let's look underground to see how one works. After harvest, when there's little concern for the soil being too wet, Stop logs are inserted into the structure to hold more water in the soil profile, raising the level of groundwater. In the spring, shortly before planting, stop logs are removed to drain the soil more fully. After planting, the stop logs are inserted again to potentially store more water for crops. Stop logs can be removed again before harvest if the soil is wet. A new, smaller companion structure called a water gate can be used with a water level control structure to hold water in the soil profile less expensively. The fully automatic underground gate stair-step water up the landscape at one foot increments. Water level control structures and water gates can be used with new tile systems or retrofitted to existing tile. These structures can reduce total water flow volume over a year by 20 to 40% or more, achieving up to a 40% reduction in downstream nitrate loading. And conservation drainage has the potential to increase yields as much as 10% in dry years. So remember, tile drainage doesn't have to be a 24-7, year-round, all-or-nothing proposition anymore. Now you can turn your drainage system on and off to have more water when you need it for the crop and at the same time, improve your ability to cut the amount of nitrates leaving your farm. Thank you.